everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Glinda, the good witch from the Wizard of Oz. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Uh, I'm giggling because I had to do this a few times. I messed it up, started over, messed it up again, started over. <laughs> And then when I opened, did you notice the way? Uh, uh, did you notice uh, the way I said okay? I was like okay, ho, 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 okay, <laughs> okay. Now here's the thing. <sighs> There's not a lot of room. Like I have to draw super small for this one because look, I. Uh, it's awesome, and that's why I'm doing it. You know, it's, it's Wizard of Oz. We're getting crazy, trying to do some different stuff here. But this costume is super tall with this gigantic uh, um, hat, crown? What would you call this? Because it's not exactly a, uh, a crown, right? Also, I'm going to be using a ruler. So go and get one or think about it because uh, and I'll say it again during the the, the uh, inking portion because for her her wand I, I do want that stick to be super straight um, let's see I'm gonna raise this arm up and so notice how I'm uh, I'm still sketching the whole body out I mean there are no legs I mean it's just the costume you know the the dress right but I still want to get the proportions right. I still want it to look like it's a woman standing there. And I it needs I want it to look proportional. So that's also the problem with getting it all into the camera because there's a lot that I want to get right and proportionately all that I want in the camera range or or uh I want to get the entire thing in to make it look like a real person. Does that make sense? You know what? Let's talk about stuff while I'm here. Uh, for the longest time, I thought these things behind her arm, I thought they were wings, right? It's tool. It's a material that uh, that is like fluffy and, and all that stuff and everything and it's it that's just, it's just crazy to me that it's it's you know you remember things when you're a kid you remember it a certain way and then you find out oh no no that's that's not it at all you know and I guess I guess I never really and it never it never occurred to me that she is a witch because she looks like a fairy you know a a, 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 a magical mystical fairy creature right nope she's a witch so this is going to be super small so hopefully i can get more detail in but again there's only so much that we're getting in with such a small uh amount of room I guess I get, need to make her smiling, huh? Again, that's where it's going to get tricky. Because also, sorry if I get quiet too, also, you know, there's only so many lines I can put down. I say this all the time. Um, with, uh, with the Sharpie, before it starts to bleed, 
especially at this size. So that's where it's going to get creative. We're going to have to get super creative with uh, with our line work, right? That'll work. Ooh, and the hair, man, that's gonna be tricky too because again, I wanna draw all the lines, but we can't. Because it's not um, black hair, right? We need to leave room for, for color. crazy is I'm looking at pictures and it does not go all the way around what happens in the back there's only like four of these that's crazy again I remember it a certain way and I thought this went all the way around I guess not and plus there's a lot of intricate little uh, designs and speckles and jewels and all kinds of stuff but are there like it looks like just a, a, a glittery mess of stuff So I think we're good with the top half and the bottom half is pretty much just going to be costume, right? That simple, that easy. Um, let's see. I'm going to keep it as simple as that. In other words, it's not going to be a closed fist. It's not going to be, you know, it's just going to be like that. That's just, basically, this is how she's going to be holding her, her, her scepter. Just the thumb around wrapped and that's it. So we're going to see thumb and fingers that, that simple. Okay. Um, the edge, Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. But again, you can only see so much of it. All right, so for the wand, I think we'll go ahead and touch it to the ground, right? So something like that, and then we'll make a star. See, even that's sketched. I always do like the, the five points, you know, just to try to get that right. That might be it for the sketch. That might be all I can do. I just have to... Yeah, because color, I mean, details... Oh, there's a necklace here. Detail's going to take care of the rest. And this is just basically my placement to make sure I get all this right. Or as much as I can. Oh, wow, there's a lot in this this whole thing right here. I might have to do that with color though, because again, oh, and you can see the top of her head. You can see through it just a little bit. Okay, I see, I see. So this is clear and see-through, and it is going all the way around. See, but I'm not gonna draw back there. We're just gonna do like that because it's, it's see-through, but that's gonna be a little too, messy so let's not worry about that let's let's uh where's my eraser let's erase some of these sketch lines and then we can jump in and what i normally do is i throw my first lines down those are my sketch lines those are placement lines basically but i just sketch 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 until i feel comfortable and then as i feel more confident i start pressing harder so when i lightly erase like this i'm erasing the sketch lines but keeping the confidence lines 
And that's how you live your life, too. Get rid of your sketchiness. Keep your confidence. Right? Okay. Let's get rid of that body. At least under the placement is there. Okay. And so now, I say we welcome all the skippers and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the sharpened portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than the fine point. It can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And I am going to start with the Sharpie pen. But if you want to see more uh, um, Wizard of Oz stuff, check out that playlist there, but also just check out the playlist in general because I do so many different things. I may have already drawn what you're looking for. So we got a lot of clear material here, so we're going to play around with what we can do. So again, it's super tiny. You know what? I've already discussed this in the sketch. If you want to understand why I'm doing this, go back there. We're just going to dive right in. I'm going to draw her eyelids like this from what I can because again, this is super tiny like that, and then I can draw the pupils a little bit. Again, this is super tiny, so I can, I'm limited with my lines. Like this. I don't even think I can get pupils in there. That's how tiny it is. Right? See? So, uh, I'm just going to come back a little bit for the bottom of the eye, because like that. This is so tiny, I can't draw the bottom or it's going to bleed, and you can't even tell it's an eye anymore. So, I'm just coming, coming in a little bit like that to imply that there's a, a bottom line and then I'll do more with color. So I'm just gonna give her like an eyelash. So thicker on top like this, just to kind of give it a, a makeup eyelash type kind of thing. But again, I'm limited as to what I can do, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give her some eyebrows and I should probably color them in. But again, we're so limited in what we can do. I don't think I can color them in. Let's try. Yeah, see, I was trying to make it hollow, but uh, she's gonna have big, thick black eyebrows now. That's how, how, it's, how it's gonna go. Um, and see, that's what I'm talking about with Sharpies and something this tiny, there's only so many lines you can put before it starts to bleed on itself. So I'm just gonna work with that. So I'm gonna draw the nostrils of her like this and then come in for the sides. And that's pretty much it. I wanna draw the bulb and the nose and the bridge. Maybe for the bridge, we'll do like that. See, it's already starting to look too much like a pig, a pig nose because of the, uh, it's just solid black lines. Color is gonna hide all that, but just be careful with what you put because again, it's gonna start to bleed at tiny size like this. So we're gonna work with what we got. So I'm gonna give her a smile like this. Open her mouth a little bit, give her the bottom lip. But again, see, it's so tiny, this top lip that I'm about to draw is probably gonna be all black. And that's it, that's all I can do. Um, I would love to color that in red, but again, it's so tiny that I can't get all that in there. So, I'm gonna draw her chin like this. Okay. And so I'm gonna come back, but her hair is gonna to start to take uh, precedent in some of this. So before I start to draw this, let me show you something, because I need to know where the edges are. Let's draw the top of her hat and um, build off this. So it's got like these jewels and things that are kind of coming down into her head, but also I can't tell what they are. I mean, I know it's jewels. I know there's like, you know, all kinds of extra little, uh, um, um, what do you call it? Bedazzly things that are all in their crown. So basically I wanted to do that. Draw the crown, draw the edge. Right? And then draw some more of the little, oh my God, I can't even think of what those are. Um, uh, <sighs> crystals? No, it's not the word I'm looking for. Um, Anyway, <laughs> now that I have my edge, that's what I wanted to do is basically, and the hat's gonna go up like that. I guess we can go ahead and do the hat, then we'll work our way back down because like I said, um, I, I, I need my, to know my start stop places. So let's do that, let's draw the hat. Now I'm doing it with the small Sharpie, which I should probably switch over to the big one, but 
I'm gonna thicken the lines up because I'm gonna do um, transparent things on here, like the tool on her arms, T-U-L-E, not T-O-O-L. Um, this hat is transparent, so I wanna draw the, the, the back of her hair in there just a little bit, but here, let's do this. Okay, so for her, her hat design, see, this is where I probably should have stayed with a small Sharpie but I wanted to get the thickness of what's gonna happen with the rest of her to look consistent, right? Okay, and plus you'll see why I'm doing this in a second too, that I want it to look um, thicker than her hair because I'm about to draw her hair. There's another one coming up like this inside this hat because this hat's transparent. You can see through the hat. And so by, by doing a thick thin line like this, it, it will stand out that that's a hard edge, this is not. So we can kind of see the top of her head just a little bit like this. Okay, so that'll kind of give us a transparent look and then we're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff, but you can see her head. Now that I have, <laughs> long story short, now that I have her, her lines I can work with, let's work with her hair. Okay, so her hair is gonna kind of do this and it's kind of curly, right? Let's do the other side too. And this is what I was talking about, how I wanted to establish that edge because I didn't want to draw and then all of a sudden realize, oh no, I'm drawing through the hair. I'll come back to the hair. I just wanted to say, look, now that we have that, I can finally finish the face, come back up and do that. I've got a, a hard edge to stop. A start stop point basically is what I'm trying to say. Okay, done. That's it. That's all I was trying to do <laughs> is establish, uh, establish, um, it, it, Places, places to stop, and and it'll it'll finish up anything else that uh, was was where I began, right? So okay, so what I was saying before too was that I'm going to draw the hair, but not all the lines. So she's got super awesome curly hair, wavy hair, really. That's really what it comes down to, and that's what I want to draw. I want to draw all the curls and the waves, but again, it's I said this in the sketch part that it's it's red hair, right? It's not black hair, so I shouldn't draw all these lines. And that's it, that's all I'm gonna draw for the hair. Just to give it the, the, the outer edges, basically, is what I'm saying. Because hair is fun to draw, all these, these awesome lines. But again, uh, it's colored, it's not black edges. So it's, it's gonna be better if we, well, for me, if I leave the black edges for the outline to give it a hard edge, like a start stop of where the color is separated, rather than draw all the lines because it's, it's uh, going to be a uh, beautifully colored red hair, right? There. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now, she does have a necklace on. We're going to do something like this. And a lot of times, because it's costume jewelry, nothing specific, you know. I'm just gonna do a little stuff like this just to kind of accent that there's something there. And I'm gonna thicken up these lines just to make a difference between hairline and necklace, right? Just to separate them. Now, her, her costume has these tool shoulders. For the longest time I talked about this, I thought they were wings, but they're not, right? They're, they're, it's a clear, transparent material called tool, T-U-L-L-E. So I'm going to do that with a small Sharpie. So I'm just going to draw a regular body and then come back and add the tool. Okay. So I'm going to add her shoulders raised. So I'm going to bring it like this. And uh, see how I didn't connect that there? You're going to see why in a second. And uh, draw her forearm like this up to her, her wrist. And she's got, again, some material, some bejeweled stuff on her wrist. But what's funny is even this is clear. Like that's transparent till we get to the actual dress part here. 
but I'm gonna have to draw something and I can't draw it with um, uh, this one the entire time. We've gotta have some hard edges, right? Okay, so. Okay, so let's, let's draw the hand and then we'll come back. I wanted to draw the tool to show you, but let's just go ahead and draw the hand. She's kind of doing one of these, right? So I'm gonna draw the thumb. Like this, the back of her hand, like this, and the her fingers are kind of like this. So the pinky's straight up. Okay, the other one's kind of doing like that, and the other ones are straight out. And the finger, you can't really see. We're gonna say is behind all that. So see, if you just keep it simple, we don't have to draw that index finger. It's it's there, but it's behind all the other ones, so we almost can't, you know? There we go. Now, let's go ahead and draw some of this tool so I can show you what I'm talking about. It's coming off her costume, and it's kind of like this. And that's why I left it open like that, because I want it to be like, uh, over the sleeve, but part of the, the material, the part of her dress is what I'm trying to say. And so we're just going to do something like like that, all right? Because it's, like I said, it's a cloth that's, that's transparent and light, so I wanted it not as thick as this, and, and and not as thick as this, but light because it's, like I said, I thought they were wings for the longest time as a little kid. I thought they were wings. Um, but that's it. That, that's all I want to do. Keep it nice and simple. Okay? All right. So for her, let's go ahead and draw this and come all the way around, right? So I'm going to draw the waist part here. I'm gonna come up. And I'm going to draw her breasts into the costume. And here's where it's, it's uh, again, more material, but uh, bejeweled, bespeckled, um, decorated costume, right? And I almost wanna not draw all the little things in it because I kinda need to leave that for color. But, uh, um, we, we need to do some stuff, right? Because it's, it's again, it's all kind of a, a pieced material that's all stretched and, and, and uh, designed like this, right? Okay, so I think that's good for that. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this arm coming down. The dress will do real quick, real easy, be the last thing we do. But again, last, because I want to draw the wand, which also, by the way, get a ruler. We're going to need that. Um, this arm's coming down. So again, I'm going to draw the arm with a little room for tool. Okay, so shoulder, pick it up, make it spacey like that. A little bit of, you can see through it, but it's not quite solid. Okay, then coming down for the wrist, the wrist, the elbow to the forearm. Now we do the wrist. Let's go ahead and come back and then come up like this to connect it. Let's do the uh, the tool. Again, something simple, something light. It's connected to the material. So we're gonna do that. Come up here, do one of these. that again just to kind of keep it simple little f fairy wings you know that's what I thought they were I could have sworn they're fairy wings it never occurred to me that she was a witch I thought she was a fairy but again that's what I get for watching movies and not reading books you know okay so 
This one is holding the wand. Now, this hand is just gonna be basically doing this. That's how she's holding it, nice and delicate, okay? So like this, that's what we're gonna be doing. So, we're gonna draw the thumb. Like that. Let's draw the wand and then I can draw the fingers because I wanna make sure that it is the thumb is front of the wand, the wand is front of the fingers. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay? And I want it down, touching the ground, like this. So, I'm gonna draw to the thumb like that, down this, and it's gonna be pretty thin. I probably should have done it with a small Sharpie, but that's okay. Um, but I want it touching in the end. I want it to be one complete piece. So I'm going to keep it thin. So let's see what we do here. Nice. So see by here, it's already going to be one piece. Like that. A little bleedy, but hey, that's what happens. Again, that's what happens when you use Sharpies. So I'm going to draw her fingers behind it. So I almost didn't need to. By the way, it just bled into itself, but we didn't know it was going to do that. So pinkies back behind that and that's all we can really do that's that's the uh, the danger of using sharpies but I want you to be able to use what we have lying around the house I don't want you to have to go and buy expensive art supplies if you do great but I want you to be able to just grab what you have and, and, and start working with me you know okay um, cloth material something like that Let's draw that star. I've already sketched it out, so I know kind of the way it's gonna go. So I can just kind of follow my sketch and draw a star. I always do the, the five point draw. But again, since I've already sketched it out, I can pretty much just follow my sketch and get close. It's not gonna be perfect. It's never gonna be perfect doing it by hand. You know, although I could be wrong, there could be people out there that could draw a star easily. One shot, done, you know? Me, I gotta sketch it out. All right, we're almost done. Let me just clean the star up a little bit. Again, we're gonna bleed a little bit with the Sharpie that big. And I want it a little more pointy, a little more uh, detailed. I guess is where I'm trying to go with this. And that Sharpie is not sharp. It's called a Sharpie, it's called a Sharpie Fine Point, but it wasn't made for tiny things like this, so it doesn't always get as sharp as I want it to. So I just kind of come back with this and fix it. Okay, now that all that's established, let's draw her dress. And I don't think I'm gonna do all the little stuff inside there. I think I'll do that with color. So basically, I sketched out the height to make sure she was the right height, and now I'm just gonna basically draw the dress. That's it, we're almost done. I'm a puller more than I am a pusher. So I know it's gonna come down here, so I'm gonna draw it up like that. Be careful right around there. Because I want that to be hollow. I want it to look like this staff is in front of the dress. That's the whole reason I did it first. Okay. Gonna try to connect that real fast. There, okay, awesome. So same thing, it's gonna come this way. And that's it. So now we're just gonna do like a little jagged bottom and then come back with color and do some more of it. That simple. Okay, we'll do a few lines just to try to, you know, give you something, right? But again, most of this is gonna be done with color anyway, so. I'm not worried about it. And then for the edge here, we'll just do something like this just to kind of separate it. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Glenda the Good Witch from The Wizard of Oz. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures with How I Draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.